Okay, today I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to get the golden wheat bread mega snack in Wizard 101. So first, come to Krakatopia. Once you're in Krakatopia in the Oasis, see where I am, and just come down here across the bridge. Down here to Snack Recipe Vendor Shazam. Once you're at him, you'll see golden wheat bread on his list of recipes that you can buy. And purchase that for 2,000 gold. You should have the gold, I'm assuming. If you have less than 2,000 gold, then... Well, it shouldn't be very hard to get in, especially since all these challenges that you can do will give you some gold at the beginning. Usually like a thousand. Never mind that though. Assuming you have 2,000 gold, you should be able to purchase the recipe, and then now we can look at what you need to actually craft golden wheat bread. So, you need five keenized treasure cards, one blackberry jellyfish, and four pristine vials. So, the keenized treasure cards you can get here in Krakatopia. You can purchase them from the library. Librarian Zane. So, yeah. Let me just show you here. Just to show you that I'm not lying about this. As you can see, here's Zane. And look here. You can get Key and Eyes from him. It only costs 50 gold. And you can buy a whole bunch of them if you want to. I'm assuming you can buy as many as the amount of gold that you currently have allows. If I'm wrong about that, then. There's not really much I can say because I don't really want to spend all. I don't want to spend more than 10,000 gold just on key and eyes just to see if there's like a certain cap or anything. So I guess you could find that out yourself. Anyways, though, I'm pretty sure you can get an unlimited amount. Okay, so to get to pristine vials, which, as you can see right here, is the third thing you need here. All you have to do is go to one of the vendors in either Celestia or a world higher than that, because there are multiple worlds higher than that where you can buy them from. But the lowest world that you can buy pristine vials from, or that you can buy uh, pristine vials at, would be Celestia. So, as you see here, there are pristine vials that you can buy, and you can buy a whole bunch of them. <laughs> the only thing is they cost 500 each, which is some people may be a lot of gold, especially if you're going to buy like 20 or something. It costs like over 10,000 gold. So, actually, I think it would cost exactly 10,000 gold if I bought 20. Anyways, though, um, yeah, so you can buy pristine vials from this guy here, and you can also get them at the bazaar. The only thing about buying them at the bazaar is you never know if they're going to be there. Sometimes some people might sell some pristine vials and there will be some available, but good amount of the time there aren't any there for you to purchase so Celestia is always your first best bet to be 100% honest. I know there's also uh, a trader in Zafaria who sells them as well though so I mean if you don't feel like going to Celestia and you want to go there you can as well and there's another trader who sells them too from what I remember but I can't remember exactly who that is but anyways though this is always a good one to go to because he's really close to the entrance so you don't have to worry about trying to find him or anything Okay, so now, now that we know where the pristine vials and we know where the key and eyes treasure cards can be bought, we now need to go on to finding out where the blackberry jellyfish can be caught. So, before I even go into this, all I need to say is, the thing about blackberry jellyfish is they aren't found in many locations, and they're referred to as epic fish, but the thing about them is, even though they're called epic fish, one of the locations that you can find them at is honestly a location where they're extremely common. So there are two locations that you can find them at. You can find them in Shirataki Temple in Mushu, which is where the game would probably like you to go if there's like a quest to get them for whatever reason, which I don't think there is. But anyways though, then there's also another location, which is the Arrow Village, which is a house that you can have. And from what I remember, it's part of a bundle, but you don't actually have to have the bundle that comes with the house in order to go there. So all you need to do to get to Arrow Village is go to the housing, uh, whatever you call it, the housing visiting place in Wizard City. Owned by Morella Windspar. So yeah, you just have to go over to her in Wizard City. And once you go there, all you basically have to do is just find an Arrow Village and go there and fish. I'll show you what I mean. 
Okay, so you come over into here. What is it called again? Hmm. Oh, Castle Tours Headquarters. Okay, so this is the Castle Tours Headquarters. No, I'm not paying attention to this headquarters here. I just think this place actually has headquarters in the name, but that doesn't matter. Anyways, though, so you come into the Castle Tours building, and once you're in here, go to Visit Castle, and top right is always good to go to, and look for an Arrow Village. So, just keep looking until you find one. As far as I know right now, there's only one Arrow Village that you can go to. But, um, I did not mean to click on that, by the way. But even though there's only one to go to, there's usually always one in here, in the Castle Tours uh, top list. So you shouldn't have to worry about having a day when it won't even show up at all for you. If there ever does happen, that'll be unfortunate. Anyways though, so, oh, here we go. So Air Village by Angel Life Giver, let's go here. Okay, so the thing about this Air Village that's awesome um, is that you can actually find these uh, blackberry jellyfish extremely easily. So literally all you have to do here is make sure you have two fishing spells. The reset fish, or set all fish in fishing hole spell, and winnow ice fish. Actually you don't, honestly don't even need that, but that's useful. If you don't have that, it's always good to have reveal fish school, which I'm assuming you have. And of course you need an ice lower, but pretty sure it's one of the first things you can get, like from Lucky Hook Line. Anyways, then. so basically what you want to do first is go ahead and, um, alright, so I was going to summon fish because I know they, uh, they got empty earlier when I caught all the ice fish, so now I don't need to do that because they're, they've already reset, so I can just go ahead and go to winnow ice fish, so it'll scare away all the fish except for the ice one as it says here in the spell description. And as you see here, all that's left is these couple of fish here, which are ice. And the thing that you should know is, do not go try fish over here. You'll never find ice fish over there, I can pretty much guarantee you. You're only gonna find ice fish over here. And the thing is, the ice fish over here are nearly always the blackberry jellyfish. Like, let me show you right here. I know there's like a, type of fish called grumpy catfish or something like that which you can find but you rarely ever find them over 90% of the time you'll find blackberry jellyfish so let me show you what I mean look at this okay and oh <laughs> what are the chances the first one I got is a crank oh cranky catfish my bad okay so that was just some really bad luck okay get over here Alright, give me a second. I might try to get this fish. Oh, that's great. Okay. Watch this. Like, you'll get like 10 bl a blackberry jellyfish and maybe like one cranky catfish. Like, a chance of you getting something other than a blackberry jellyfish is tiny. Okay, so I'm getting this one. Alright, so look at this. Blackberry jellyfish, and a fish just ran into me, I'm pretty sure. That's unfortunate. Okay, so watch. That's one blackberry jellyfish down, which is normally an epic fish, which means that finding it in a place other than a house like this would be extremely hard and take a ridiculous amount of time. Okay, so look at this. Next fish, let's see what it is. Blackberry jellyfish. Yep, another epic fish right there. Alright then, so I'm going to go ahead and catch the rest of these fish right here. Just to show you that I can pretty much guarantee they're going to be blackberry jellyfish. Okay. Come on. Man, it's going to be... Oh. It's going to be annoying sometimes. It's always hard trying to get the distance correct. Okay, that was horrible. Come on. Here we go. for it, and come on, okay, and let's see, yep, another blackberry jellyfish, right there, and 
where'd that last fish go? Oh, here it is. The fact that spells don't cost right energy, don't cost energy at all. And the fact that that happens to be going on right now as I'm making this video, when I found out about this, is super lucky. And it's a fortunate coincidence if you think about it. The thing is though, even if you don't have this benefit for you going on because you don't have the membership or maybe it just has, doesn't have to be going on at the time, this still is super useful for getting Mega Snacks. Or Golden Wheat Bread anyways. So look at this. Wait for it and watch this. Okay, what the heck? Okay, I did not see that one coming. Hmm, that was unexpected. Not gonna lie, I've caught nearly 50 fish here today, and that's the first time I've gotten that fish. And only the second time I've gotten a cranky catfish. But, so here's what happens. So once you fish out of the ice fish, let me just do this to make sure. Yep. Okay, so that means there are no fish left here. So now, reset for 10 energy. Of course, it uses none of mine because we got a little bonus going on at the time. It ends today. Anyways. So, go ahead and just do this again. And. There we go. Alright, so, yep. Once again, all that's left is the ice fish over here, so. Here we go. Let's try that again. Okay. Here we go. And watch this. It's gonna be a grape jellyfish or blackberry jellyfish. Why did I just say grape jellyfish? Okay. Yep. Got another one, and there's a guy right here. Not sure if he's fishing too. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's enough for now. I think I got my point across that you can find them relatively easily here. This is honestly the best way for sure though. Don't even bother fishing at Shirataki Temple if Arrow Village is available for fishing for this, these kind of fish. Because literally, I'm not kidding you, you can try 10 times to like find ice fish there, like reset the hole like around 10 times, you will not find one uh, if you're on an average day where you're not very lucky. But even if you are kind of lucky, the most that you're gonna find is like two. Yeah, like I said, this is when you were set it at least around 10 times. And after you try to look for ice fish this entire time. I'm not kidding you, I, finding ice fish in there is rare enough, but finding this special epic fish is virtually like, the chance of it happening is absolutely puny, so... Yeah, don't bet on that if you're gonna go fishing in Shirataki Temple. Oh yeah, not only that, you have to battle the first boss, Shoji, and once you've defeated him, you have to go through the gate, and then run across and go through another gate, just to go over to the tiny area of water. Oh yeah, and by the way, you can't walk in that water either, you have to sit in the edges, and either use your attract fish spell or just wait for them to come over. And here, you can walk into the water, too. So, I mean, this place is better so many ways so I mean as long as Arab Village is available to fish at go there anyways though so I've got everything that I need so because like I already had the keen eyes treasure cards and the pristine vials so all right so look at this I got everything I need here now all that needs to be done is you need to go back to your house and craft this the card crafting station that's literally it oh yeah and by the way I should have said this earlier probably this mega snack right here, it gives you plus 40 in total. So think about it, 15 plus 11, 26. Add on to 14 to that, and guess what you get? 40, 36 plus four, 40. So I mean, if you have balanced pets, this is amazing. And even if you have pets of other schools, it's so great. Because think about it for a second. Like the best mega snack, or the best snack anyways, that you can get from the bazaar or that gives you the most anyways would be Dr. Jalapeno or Shanta Pudding. And both of them only give plus 10. So think about it. And that's without any boost or anything. 
this one without any boost gives plus 40 base. It's not even counting. If your pet likes it, which would mean it gives plus 41 and plus 42. So this is better by more than 20 experience points if you feed this to your pet. And it's so easy to get blackberry jellyfish, pristine vials, and keen eyes. Of course, as long as you're in Celestia uh, or further, or as long as you go to the, the bazaar often that it's much more worth it to just go fishing and do this if you can. Of course if you're gardening or spending time, uh, a bunch of your time and energy training pets you don't want to spend on fishing then that could be a problem but assuming you have energy to spare this by far is one of the best strategies so yeah let me just go back and craft it. Okay I'm about to craft the snacks. I'm only gonna craft like one or two just to show you. I'm not going to like go ahead and use all of my fish for crafting. I'll run out of crafting slots first probably. Anyways. So, not spells. Oh, oops. Am I at the wrong crafting station? Oh, what the? I thought it was at the card crafting station. Oh, I was. Okay. Wrong one. Which one is it? Hmm. Stop it. Here we go. Basic crafting station. Okay. So look at this. Golden wheat bread. Ready? And create. And create. So look at that. Just crafted two golden wheat bread. Got points for that too. It's nice. Anyways. So now if you want to just see that. Okay, no, it wasn't some sort of glitch. And maybe it said you crafted it. Or maybe the stats weren't as good as you originally thought. Of course, 99.9% .9 of people aren't going to even be thinking that, but for anyone that is thinking that for some strange reason, let me just show you that the snacks are actually here. So unfortunately, the sorting system for this is not good at all, so it's going to take me some time to actually find it. Let me just see. And... Oop, I went past it. Look at this, two golden wheat bread, right here. Gives 40. Shoot, look at that. So I mean, yep, that's basically it. Golden wheat bread is an amazing snack, and actually before I even go, I need to say one more thing. Compared to getting other snacks when it comes to crafting, golden wheat bread is amazing. Look at Captain Cantaloupe, for example. 15, 18, 12, so I mean, this gives plus 45 experience when it comes to the pets. But the thing is, though, this five more is not worth it. So it's basically not much different here. Just like five treasure cards, four pristine vials. But getting Sturgeon General is ridiculously time-consuming. Like, even with the whole zero energy fishing thing, it literally took me over 10 minutes of constantly resetting fishing holes and winnowing fish just to find one Sturgeon General. And this, you see the amount of Sturgeon Generals I have now? In over an hour, this is the amount that I got, pretty much. Just four. Yet, in over a quarter of the time, I can get literally, like if I just constantly was trying to get blackberry jellyfishes non-stop, I could get over like four times the amount probably. Actually, probably even more than that. But, and look at this right here. 23, this is 30, right? So, six Todd pulls, five perfect jades, and three sap health. For something that gives ten less than golden wheat bread. It's not like Todd pools are so easy to catch to the point where it's better than getting this. I mean, this is easy to catch.